All right, today we're gonna to give you a little bit of a tour of the annuals. And what I mean by annuals, these are the plants that you put in every single year. They add a splash of color that will keep going all season long. Perennials have a blooming time period, whereas annuals can bloom from the time you put them in all the way till frost. So let's take a little bit of a tour and we'll show you some of my favorite annuals. All right, our first stop on the annual tour is the verbenas, wonderful plants. Look at these guys, great in the full sun, trails, wonderfully off of a container. All right, look at these petunias, wonderful flowers, love the sun, can tolerate a little bit of drought. I've seen mine wilting because I forgot to water them and they come right back when you water them. You can plant them and let them run along the ground or put them in a container or even in a hanging basket. Another interesting annual is Ageratum, and uh, this is Artist Blue. I also have Artist Purple. These two different plants do pretty well in sun or part sun and they have a nice tall stature to them. They are not going to trail, so they're a nice border plant. This is Daisha. Again, more of a trailer. Uh, will not get that high, loves the full sun. This is a very old plant in terms of annuals. A lot of you might have grown up with this. It's of course marigolds. Some are brilliant orange, others yellow. Some have a little bit of red. They have big ones, little ones, double flowering ones, just a lot of different marigolds. This is a lissum and just a wonderful plant, great for the border, very low growing, and the smell is fantastic. Look at the colors of the geraniums. Again, many of you grew up with this plant, but this is just absolutely wonderful, a very reliable annual plant, great for window boxes. Here's a great plant that just has wonderful foliage as well as flowers. These are New Guinea impatiens. The foliage on New Guinea impatiens is often a little bit darker than your traditional impatiens. And they do like a little bit of sun. Another annual for you, Osteospermum or African Daisy. And these would be great in the center of a container or a little bit beyond the border because they get a little bit taller. We've learned a lot today about annuals and uh, one thing you want to do with any annual is just give it a little bit of feeding. That's a good idea. Keep them pinched back throughout the year, deadhead them, and they will perform very well for you all season long. Come back often to growingwisdom.com for all of our tips.